That same week, one of the youngest actresses in the haunted attraction was spotted in two different places at the same exact time. Downstairs, my friend went to use the restroom and saw the girl in the bathroom, and she walked out of the only entrance and exit, and the girl was still in the bathroom. She walked through the lobby, and there the girl was, sitting in a chair, along with a group of people who later confirmed that she never moved. October 17th, I was in the love triangle room talking to someone about Jesus and immediately after saying his name, my ankle was set on fire. I looked down and pulled my pants up and there were three long scratches that drew blood. Demons often do things in threes, mocking the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I wasn't afraid. I was used to it by now. I actually got mad and rebuked it, and it left instantly. October 18th, all hell broke loose. For no reason, all the actors on the entire second floor didn't want to be there anymore. All of them said the same thing, that they were afraid for their life. Something really bad is down here, they kept saying. These are the same people who have done the same scene over and over and over again. And they loved it. They were perfectly fine, but not on this night. We were moments away from shutting down the second floor because the actors would not go back. One girl was affected pretty bad. Multiple people told me to go check on her, so I did. And as soon as I started praying for her, she started shaking. I knew what that meant. I rebuked the attachment and I led her in a prayer. I would say whatever God put on my heart and then have her repeat it. Everything was going fine until it came to the phrase, never enter me again. She paused and started shaking violently before saying it, but she said it. I couldn't have known this, but I had the feeling like she didn't really mean it. She was just repeating what I said out of fear just to get everything to stop. She had her own issues, we will say, before coming to the hotel, and what was already there just seemed to magnify it, which unfortunately became all too common. Then after we opened, I got word that one of our main actresses in the possession room got attacked. Out of nowhere, extreme pressure had built on the back of her neck, and she started acting really, really weird. Everyone else thought she was sick, but in my heart I knew something else was wrong. I could see the fear in her eyes. She didn't want to admit what was wrong. It was like she didn't want to say what was really going on in front of everyone. So I took her downstairs to talk alone. She said it was something bad, something evil messing with her. She had a strong urge to vomit and she couldn't stop it. Then she proceeded to describe the same exact symptoms as the other girl did on the second floor just hours before. I prayed with her and she was fine, but with tears in her eyes, she begged me not to put her back in that room. She couldn't do it anymore. I wasn't planning to anyway. I knew this was a big issue for the haunted attraction because this was her scene. She rocked it. And not only that, she loved it. She had no problems any of the other nights. And she played it every single night the year before with no issue. But I knew it was too dangerous. I would shut that scene down before I made her go back in that room. She was playing a possessed girl and something demonic was actually trying to take over her. I put her in a different spot in the attraction and she felt better. We had another actress fill in for her in her scene and she did a good job. I felt like I was responsible for that event. I was the one that talked the owner into adding real audio of an exorcism on our soundtrack, a very famous exorcism, so famous. They made a movie about it. You might've heard of it, The Exorcism of Emily Rose. 
a lesson learned, but my night wasn't over yet. Multiple other people were seeing shadows all over the place, getting grabbed, being overwhelmed by fear for seemingly no reason. Everyone just felt in danger. Looking back, I regret adding that audio into the soundtrack, but I was just trying to make the scene more real. Unfortunately, it became all too real.